Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today, we'll tell you all about the Proxima B and new updates from NASA about it. So let's begin. Proxima Centauri B is an extrasolar planet that is near the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. It is in the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is the star that is the farthest from the Sun. It is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. It is thought to be a planet that could be like Earth. It has a minimum mass of at least 1.07 m and a radius that is only slightly bigger than Earth's. Even though the planet's orbit brings it into the habitable zone of its star, no one knows if it has an atmosphere or not. The star Proxima Centauri is a flare star, which means it sends out a lot of electromagnetic radiation. This kind of radiation could make a planet lose its atmosphere. Because it is close to Earth, this planet offers a unique chance for robots to explore space. This is what the Breakthrough Starshot project is doing. Using the method of studying the radial velocity of its parent star, which took several years, scientists were able to prove that Proxima Centauri b exists. The European Southern Observatory told the world about this on August 24, 2016. Also, the discovery of Proxima Centauri b, a planet that is close enough to the closest star to the solar system to be habitable, was a big deal in the field of astronomy and has brought attention to the Alpha Centauri star system which Proxima is a part of. Depending on how the planet was made, Proxima Centauri b could either be a planet like Mercury with a big core which would mean that certain things had to happen in the planet's early history or it could be a planet with a lot of water. The iron-silicon-magnesium ratios of Proxima Centauri should be similar to the ratios of any planets in the Proxima Centauri system. Different observations have found ratios of these elements that are similar to those in the solar system. It may be possible to figure out what the planet is made of by looking at these ratios, since they should be similar to the ratios of any planet in the Proxima Centauri system. Assuming that Proxima Centauri b formed where it is now in relation to its star, it probably did so under different conditions than Earth did, with less water, stronger impacts, and a faster overall growth. At its current distance from Proxima Centauri, there isn't enough material in the protoplanetary disk for Proxima Centauri b to form. So it's likely that Proxima Centauri b didn't come into being. Instead, it formed further away from Proxima Centauri b and then broke up before moving into its current orbit around that star. Depending on the nature of the material, the precursor material could have a lot of volatiles. There are a number of possible ways for a planet to form, and most of them depend on the presence of other planets near Proxima Centauri. These planets would have different chemical makeups depending on how they formed. In the field of exoplanet research, the word habitable usually means that a planet could have liquid water on its surface. For an exoplanet to be habitable, it needs liquid water on the surface and an atmosphere. Life that only exists below the surface, like in Europe's subsurface ocean, would be hard to find from far away. But it could be a model for life on Proxima Centauri b, which has a cold ocean on its surface. There are two possible outcomes for the atmosphere of Proxima Centauri b. In one, the water on the planet condensed and the hydrogen was lost to space, leaving only oxygen and or carbon dioxide. But it's possible that Proxima Centauri b had an atmosphere of hydrogen from the start, or that it formed further away from its star, which would make it hard for water to escape. So, the water on Proxima Centauri b may have lasted longer than its early history. If there's an atmosphere, it's likely to have gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide that carry oxygen. Together with the magnetic activity of the star, they would make aurora that could be seen from Earth if the planet has a magnetic field. The atmosphere of Proxima Centauri b was modeled using climate models, such as general circulation models used on Earth. Depending on its properties, like whether or not it is tidally locked, how much water it has, and how much carbon dioxide it has, there are many possible outcomes. A planet covered in ice, large or small oceans, or only dry land, or a combination of these, or one or two eyeballs or lobster-shaped areas with liquid water. Even if the original atmosphere of Proxima Centauri b is destroyed, it could be rebuilt over time by volcanic activity. Carbon dioxide would almost certainly be in a second atmosphere. This would make it more stable than an atmosphere like Earth's. On Earth, the amount of water in the mantle might be about the same as that of one ocean. 
If exocomets are there, they could also bring water back to Proxima Centauri b. There is a good chance that Proxima Centauri b is tidally locked to its host star. This means that the same side of the planet always faces Proxima Centauri, which is the case for a planet in an orbit with a period of 1 to 1. It's not clear if conditions can be made habitable in situations like a 1 to 1 tide lock, which would create an extreme climate where only one part of the planet could be lived on. But it is possible that these things could happen. Still, it's possible that the planet is not locked in place by its tides. If Proxima Centauri b had an eccentricity of more than 0.1 to 0.06, it might enter a 3 to 2 resonance similar to Mercury's. Higher eccentricities could be caused by the presence of more planets near Proxima Centauri or by interactions with Alpha Centauri. Even if the planet is not symmetrical and has a low eccentricity, it's still possible to move it into an orbit that is not tidally locked. But if the orbit wasn't locked, tidal heating of the planet's mantle would happen. This would cause more volcanoes to erupt and could stop a dynamo that makes the magnetic field from working. The precise dynamics are heavily reliant on the interior structure of the planet, as well as its development as a result of tidal heating. The red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, which is the parent star of Proxima b, only gives off about 0.17% of the energy and 0.005% of the visible light that the Sun does. Even though it is only exposed to a small amount of radiation, Proxima b gets about 70% of the infrared energy from the Sun that the Earth does. This is because it is closer to its Sun and has a different orbit. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment down your thoughts on this topic. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video.